This is the home of the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic, where a chance encounter led to a new dynamic partnership. The arrival four years ago of a charismatic young Russian conductor called Vasily Petrenko heralded a new era of success, and the orchestra's been winning awards and plaudits all around the world. Petrenko's one of those uh, few conductors who um, both audiences and musicians love in equal measure. You can get you know, conductors who are one or the other, but it's not often you get both. He's incredibly driven, he's incredibly dedicated to what he does, pays real attention, um, but does it in a way that takes the orchestra with him. Yeah, OK, OK, sorry, sorry. Uh, could we play from...? Uh... He's very exacting oh, in terms nice. of what he demands from us as players. And he also knows so much about the context of the music and about the, the intricacies of what the composer wanted. And he has a great way of putting that across to us as musicians. So I think actually it's very easy when he's at the helm to understand what he wants us to do and actually to do it. You can't not play together when Vasily gives a downbeat, you know exactly where it is. OK, it's good. I remember good. when I was a student, people often used to refer to certain conductors as great trainers, orchestra trainers, and in my experience there aren't so many of those around these days, but Vasily, I would say, is definitely one. I felt really strong relations with the orchestra immediately from the first moment, and so far I'm very happy here. I don't see any signs of exhaust in the relationship between me and the orchestra, which happens with uh, many conductors in the orchestra. It's a little bit like a family life. But so far, I haven't seen the signs of exhaust, and I still have seen a lot of potential. I still know where and how we need to improve in the future, and I think we're still quite far from the peak of what we can do. You said that the orchestra's not yet reached its full potential. What are your ambitions for them? Well, as I've said in the very beginning and said many times, to make this orchestra top of the world, one of the number ones. And I, because I've been growing in a school where the second place has been a loser, and uh, it's a championing psychology, and I think we will achieve that sooner or later.